And if we have to take your stores, we'll take your stores. Area prosecutors say it's a new era in Michiana. Tuesday, they arrested 20 people for selling synthetic weed in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties. But tell ABC 57 News, they don't know what else they'll uncover in this pending investigation. Clearly, they're interested in doing whatever they can do to uh, make a side buck. As it turns out, the stores busted on Monday aren't the only ones hustling the system. Today, I hit the streets of South Bend and found several convenience stores peddling what appears to be fake name brand merchandise. When we talked with police about this issue eight months ago, they told us it's hard to prosecute store owners because multi-billion dollar corporations aren't interested in opening a legal case in South Bend. We need the partnership of these very, very large companies. So we thought we'd help them out. This store and this one are just a few in our area blatantly selling what appears to be fake Notre Dame hats, t-shirts and jackets. The merchandise we purchased today is missing an official licensing sticker, half as much as the real thing, and the stitching is poorly done. Since Notre Dame is already in our area, we gave them a call to see if they'd be interested in taking a stake in South Bend neighborhoods. This is Daryl with ABC 57 News. The director of licensing agreed to an interview, but isn't available until next week, which means until police can get that partnership and start monitoring all convenience stores, this type of illegal activity perpetuates.